And it's just simply practicing something to the point where your hands Three moves. are moving so quickly just, and so smoothly. And mis is it misdirection as well? No. You could no. be burned. You could have cameras up. You could do... No, no, no. These moves are invisible. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How does one make a move invisible? I mean... Is it just repetition or understanding what to do to make it invisible? I mean, I, I'll show you a move that's just invisible. Okay. But it's, let's see. And it's just a move, though. So, okay. I mean, so you just so pull just, out a deck of so cards. All, all you have to do is if you want to take a card and, you know, that's invisible. Like, no matter what you do, you can't see it. So, but it's just a simple move. You know, it's just you take a card and then you take the, you know. But that's uh. invisible. But that's used in so magic. So for people that are just but listening, you had a card that was a heart, and then you flipped it over to a spade. spade. But but that's do that again. <laughs> so you just take a card, you do like that, and then you do that, and then it's there. What the fuck? Yeah, but that but but what I'm saying is that's used by magicians. But imagine this beyond in a whole nother way that you cannot see anything my friend just that my, i can't see anything but my friend has been working on a move for years and years that he's never going to use that only i think one other person besides him in the world can do and he he, he was written up by all of every magician not every magician but lots of magicians were really upset saying that move is impossible there's no way to do it because and i i saw i watched it with my own eyes many times and as soon as i pulled out my camera i said like, could i film it he put the cards away and i never saw it again really <laughs> can we film that can we film you doing that so we can play it back in slow motion <laughs> You just doing that? Yeah, yeah, I will. A right now, bit. in a little bit. In a little bit, <laughs> Jamie, what's this little bit shit? What's he doing? <laughs> Jamie's got two cameras on you now. He's hip to it. <laughs> oh, I see. You couldn't see it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do yeah. it. I'll do it in a bit, though. Okay. Yeah. Why in a bit? Well, I'm sure, I could do it now. Okay. But it's just a move. Okay. Hold on a second. It's actually my favorite move, though. But it's just, it's just this. You take a card. And then you take the card and do that. Do so that it's just a move. <laughs> do it again? Yeah, Can but you, actually, it? you take yeah, a move, yeah, you do that, and you do like that. You know, it's just a move. But I'm just saying, like, there's so many moves that are so relevant and that are so amazing if you want to be a card cheat where you do this with such precision that nobody could ever detect it. Have you ever done that playing poker just to blow people's minds? Yeah, when I was like 18, I went to one of my friend's like uh, college games and I cheated everybody just to see if I could, but then I returned all their money. I said, guys, I'm a magician. I just cheated everybody here, but I just wanted to prove. And I told my friend whose house it was that the game was in. Thank God you did that. <laughs> but that's That must have been blown them away though. Yeah. most people yeah, think, yeah. I'm watching But also, hands. nobody knew that I was a magician. Right. Like, all my friends growing up, only my best friends knew that I did magic. What, and I, even I went through the silly phase of, of like, trying the, the ridiculous tricks, like an appearing cane. I was, like, 11, and I did this thing where a cane appears and went, pop, pop my eye out. I had, I had to wear <laughs> Yeah, it was like, I, I scratched my cornea. I couldn't, I, I couldn't use my, but, but that, I think that was part of the reason that i never went into like the the illusions or the you know ma i didn't have magic kits i had a deck of cards and then things that would you would find laying around so i think part of the magic that i love is when you're using real things and real places and 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 that is the magic you know and it's essentially learning a movement so you get to it where and you have to make it look as natural as possible but when you're doing that it looks it's it looks insane because it doesn't make any sense. Like I'm just seeing you're not even moving fast. You're just I had a guy just flying from London just to. He's like so incredible, um, and his name is Andrew Frost. He is amazing, and he. I just spent time with him just so I could sit there and have him tweak me because he's so brilliant. He has like that mindset of a card sheet, but he's a magician, but he's so precise. It's like, I want you to watch everything that I do and I want you to pick apart everything, you know, because I also don't get the opportunity to sit there and do card tricks all day and all night because I do these other things. So it's like, I, I lose time on doing this thing that I love doing because I'm like, oh, how can I learn how to do this thing with the snake? 
right? Right, right. But like these guys that just do this day and night are the best in the world. And they perform for magicians because a magician can appreciate the amount of time and work that goes into what they're seeing. Yeah. You see, I mean, nobody else, when you see it, you just see a simple trick, right? Yeah. But when I see a magician perform, I see how, I'm like, oh, this guy's put 10,000 hours in on that move. <laughs> how many hours do you think you put in on that simple trick? Oh, my whole, that's my whole life. That's been forever. That's my whole life. That's like the, that, that, start, that started with my best friend, who's my mentor also, that, that that showed me the correct way to do it when I was like 18. And then I think I've, I, he, I was with him at a card thing in Cleveland a week ago and he still corrected me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> After all these years, he's like, Oh, I forgot to tell you, you need to do this. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it's so strange. But that's like to me, it's a constant learning curve. Yeah. You know, and it's fun to discover all these secrets because they're not readily available. You have right. to search hard for the good stuff. And then you have to put the work in. Yeah. And then me, and my friend doesn't perform ever. He just loves the technical part of it. But then I have to now learn how to perform it. And then I go out and fail over and over and over and over. And, over. <laughs> and then eventually it starts to become decent. And then eventually it becomes something I'm happy about. I Did mean, I'm never fully happy. I'm always like tweaking, 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 you know. Did you film yourself initially to make sure that you couldn't see yourself doing these things? No, I, I like to put myself in the hot seat and I like to just go out there, perform it, and then fail and then learn from that. But, but yeah, it would be better to set up a camera, film yourself, watch it a thousand times, sure. In the beginning, did you have a lot of people that busted you? Like, I see what you're doing. Well, the good thing about being a magician is nobody knows where it goes. So at the end, you, you can always curve and that's like jazzing almost. so even if you're off you can still go you can improvise yeah which is probably like fighting right like you're you're in a weak position but you can right you, you can adjust and yeah. Improvise. yeah yeah and and that's what i think makes a magician really great as well mm, the ability to yeah to just keep turning yeah keep turning you know interesting and if you have enough tricks up your sleeve you can mm. almost like have them believe that the first couple ones. Well, it's all, or, or it's all part. Yeah. The outcome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I fumbled before, but then I just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bombing on stage or like fucking a joke up. And then, yeah, but bombing on stage is that's where you learn. That's like where you learn the most. So every time I've been on stage and everything is like a disaster, that's always the biggest learning curve.